Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we've got some news again and this is hotter than a printer fresh off a 100 page job. Now an Aussie printing company has allegedly been breached by a group called Ransom House. Now let's get into the details and see how this could affect other businesses too, like your own. So now here's the scoop. A well-known Australian printing company has reportedly fallen victim to a cyber attack by a group called Ransom House. Now I know what you're thinking, Ransom House? It sounds like a bad reality TV show, but trust me, these guys are no joke. Now, uh, Ransom House is a notorious cyber criminal uh, group specializing in ransomware attacks. Uh, they infiltrate networks, encrypt data, and then demand a hefty ransom to unlock it all. Now, in this case, they've allegedly targeted our printing pals over in Western Australia. Now, imagine you're running a business and suddenly all of your important files are locked up tighter than a drum. That's the nightmare scenario for the printing company right now. But it's not just about them. Now, this kind of breach can have a ripple effect across multiple industries. Now, let us break this down for you. Now, how can a data breach like this impact other businesses? Now, here are some of the key points. The first key point is operational disruption. So when your data is encrypted, you can't access crucial information. It, it literally holds your business operations. So imagine not being able to print invoices, contracts, or even marketing materials. Literally total chaos. The second is financial loss. One is you're paying just one part of the ransom, but there's also costs related to downtime and data recovery and possibly potential file uh, fines for failing to protect uh, your personal and customer data. The third one will be reputation damage. Now, trust is hard to earn and easy to lose, so customers might think twice about doing business with you as a company that couldn't protect its data. The fourth one is legal consequences. Now, data breaches can lead to legal battles especially if your customer data is involved. Now, no one, and I repeat, no one ever wants to be in a court defending their cyber security measures. And the last one is supply chain impact. Now, what we mean by this is, if your business partners rely on your services and a breach that you've experienced can disrupt their operations too. Now, this actually creates a domino effect. So how can businesses protect themselves from becoming the next headline? Well, here are some tips that we can advise you on fortifying your cybersecurity defenses. Now, the first one to combat this is regular and secure backups. Now, always keep backups of your data. If ransomware does strike, you can restore your files without paying a single cent. Now, the second is always update and patch. Now, keep your software and systems up to date. Cyber criminals love exploiting outdated software and vulnerabilities. The third is employee training. Now, your team is your first line of defense. They're the ones that use the technology. So make sure that you regularly train them and to recognize phishing emails or any other suspicious links. The other layer of security would be, again, strong and complex passwords with multi-factor authentication. Use complex passwords, enable to a fay, and make it harder for hackers to gain access. The fifth is incident response, uh, incident response plan. Now, have a plan in place when things go south. Knowing what to do, when to do it, can save you valuable time and resources. Now... While the news of the printing company breach is alarming, it is a wake-up call for all businesses to actually tighten their cybersecurity measures. Remember, it's not just about protecting your data, 
It's about safeguarding your reputation, your finances, and your operations. Well, that's all for today's video. Now, if you found this information useful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss on any of our future content. Now, again, if you do have any tips or any questions, sorry, or tips of your own, drop them in the comments below. And again, thanks for watching. And as always, stay safe out there.